Our ninth big thing was we are not trying to capture everything. Instead, we're going to be presenting a series of carefully considered moments that give the audience the idea of what the story is all about. And what this means is when we walk into our story, we must resist the urge to start filming everything immediately. Instead, we put the camera down, we survey our scene for sequences that are relevant to the story. And we're going to need a fair few sequences from each scene, maybe up to seven. Each sequence is going to have five shots, of course. Close-up of the hands, close-up of the face, establishing wide shot, over the shoulder, and an artistic wide shot. And we know how we're going to film these shots, too. They're going to be steady, they're going to be level, they aren't going to be zooming, they're going to be held for ten seconds, which will help us with the edit. And finally, we're going to consider who we need to chat to. That's the person at the centre of our story, of course, the protagonist. There are experts on the fringes of the story, and we may need a vox pop if we need to say whether something's good or not. And then we might want to ask them, where are we and what's going on here? Why is this happening? How do you feel about it? How important is this to you? You might need to say, that's interesting. Can you expand on that? Sometimes, tell me about that is a good way of prompting a good answer. Once we're clear about what we need to do, only then do we frame up our first shot and press record. And by doing so, we are professionally shooting for the edit. <laughs>